So I was going to record with some pretty sweet standard ideas I had after that last Grand Prix, but then I saw this list, and this was even cooler than those. Um, this is the list that Brad Rutherford used to win the Modern 5K at uh, the Star City Opened in Portland. Um, I guess for you guys now, it will be two weeks ago, and it just looks awesome. Um, so... In case it's not immediately obvious, um, this is the spiritual uh, successor to the Malira pod deck. Um, the upgrade is that you get to play Anafenza Kintree Spirit instead of a bunch of Maliras. Uh, Malira is great if they're trying to infect you and terrible otherwise, and this card is just an actual magic card. Um, yeah, bolstering, making creatures bigger, good stuff. Um, and the idea is that if you have this card, a Kitchen Finks, and a Viscerous here, uh, every time your Finks comes back, you trigger Bolster. Uh, your Finks has one toughness and will always have the lowest toughness to bolster onto. It'll get the counter, the counters will ca cancel out, and then you can sack it again and loop as much as you want. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward there. The awesome part is that uh, Dragon's Dark here brought another card that kind of helps replace Birthing Pod, and that's Collected Company. Not the same, but... It does work. Um, and this card is what I played at Grand Prix Toronto in Standard. Uh, so I was obviously immediately attracted to the concept of playing in other formats. Uh, if you look at the numbers, they're actually pretty similar. It's like Grand Prix Toronto, I had 19 good hits and uh, seven cards or eight cards that were like acceptable hits. So it was uh, 27 creatures to hit. Um, and this deck is 20 good hits, you know, all these twos and threes, and then six, like, acceptable ones. Though Seer might be even better. So this deck's about the same odds of hitting two things with company, which is, like, once per event, maybe you'll get a pretty crappy one, but otherwise it's pretty good. Um, we still have Township, like before. We still have Cords um, and Wall of Roots to support them. You still have things you can cord for, like Archangel Spike Feeder, which might be... I'm not entirely sold on this combo being the deck still, but it's worth a try. But the really cool thing here is that you have Goyf, um, and that Collective Company is another thing to put in the graveyard for Goyf to actually grow it to a reasonable size. Um, I like Wooded Bastion a lot here as a way to cast Anafenza. Um, moving to the sideboard, we get to play a toolbox just like uh, previous pod decks did. Um, you'll note that part of the toolbox is that you just want three core firewalkers against burn because who wants to learn uh, learn what it's like to lose to burn ever? Um, still have thought seizes, removal. Uh, you know, your standard set of pod creatures, you know, pontiff to kill stuff, rex sage to kill. The, I mean, these are all cards we've seen before in the format. Um, I'm interested to see. I think 22 lands with only four birds might be a l I guess we have wall of roots too. But that seems a little low. I think it's usually 23. Um, but then again, it may be because you don't have pod that takes up your mana. Uh, and you want to like get into situations where you can like pay 4 for pod and then like not pay 4 life to activate it. Um, I could also see another Witness because Witness Company seems off the charts insane. Um, and besides that, I just want to play some games and get a feel for how this deck plays. Because again, it looks freaking sweet. 